Hi folks, welcome to a tutorial video. So quite a lot of people, uh, this is mostly targeted at um, the folks over at CGD's channel who does a lot of console gaming and stuff so they don't really have proper setups for wheels and stuff. So um, this is mostly for people who use cloud gaming and they want to use like a steering wheel and they don't have the setup for it so yeah i've got my steering wheel plugged in and this is basically an emulator here i can make it bigger um so it's usually controller two that it defaults the controller one is the, actually i don't even know what the controller one is but this might vary depending on what you've got set up but mine's is usually controller two you can see it's set for the Thrustmaster, FGT, Rumble 3 and 1. That's not actually set up to anything. I think the first one's like default or something, I can't remember. So you can set it up for different buttons. So I've got the right trigger, left trigger, right, left bumpers, and then you've obviously got your buttons there. Analog sticks, obviously the steering. And then you've got the D-pad, left and right buttons. So all that stuff is there. This is mostly for like driving simulators and stuff, obviously. So um, if we come out of that, you can see I've already got American Truck Simulator opened up in the background just to show you how it works once we're winning game. Oh, game different games will work differently, different settings, different... Um, sensitivities and stuff, so you, it's just down to what your steering wheel is, what your emulator is. So I think it should be, so it's not on this one, so we'll try Gamepad 2. This bit's mainly for American Truck and Euro Truck because you can have the like, multiple inputs plugged in. So you can see there we go, there's so this input 2 for the now, so if I unplug it and plugged it back in it might move to 3 or 4 or whatever, but as long as you can see which of those are moving is the one that will be set up for the wheel. So we'll fire it, we'll head into the game so you can see I've got all my buttons set up as it would have when I used to have on just the, my, my main computer. Uh, so you've got left, right, forward, okay, here we go. brakes, handbrake, engine, all that stuff. So the other thing uh, I want to show you is you can adjust the sensitivity of the steering which is obviously the left thumb for me on American Truck Simulator there's nothing it's just like down to zero for pretty much everything but um, you can have like maybe a less sensitivity maybe you've got too much steering you can put it to 30 for example and it just means that the steering won't be as 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 much or you can set it to so it happens when I do that you can see it'll turn much faster so yeah as I said that that, that but really depends on your setup or the game because I've noticed a, a bus simulator the sensitivity would need to be 30 I think it's taxi life, it's about 25 to 30. It depends on you know the game, your steering wheel, that all the, all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's um, head over to uh, Google. Right, so we'll see, because I, I honestly couldn't tell you if this is actually uh, available for many other things, so it's 360 360 PC something, isn't it? 
What's it called? 360 CE. I was close. Oh, okay. <laughs> CE. There you go. 360. I'll I'll put the 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 link in the description. So s someone in the chat when I was in with CGD the other day was asking, is it compatible with certain computers? I couldn't actually tell you, but you can see here. Apparently we're on the Austrian version. Uh, 64-bit 32 for all games. So I don't know what that means. I think that's just games. That my, my, so is this actually available for... So here's all the different stuff. You can you can probably just look into it, but I don't actually know if it's Windows only or you can run it on like a Mac or like a Chromebook. I think someone was saying. You can probably check like the, the archives and, and stuff. It'll probably tell you in here. I'm pretty sure you'll find all the information you need in here. But for Windows, you can pretty much use it. There's probably actually a new version since the last time I've got it installed, actually, because sorry. Hold on, what version does that say? 4.17. No, it doesn't look like that as a new version. Okay, so it's not really updated since the last time I was on here. But yeah, if you do, um, as I say, you've got like a a steering wheel and you want to play stuff on GeForce Now, that's the thing you need. There probably is other things out there that do the same thing, but this one is pretty reliable. And it's good. It's really good. Turn right. So yes, um, that is pretty much it. So yeah, that's the program you need there. I've got way too many tabs open. But yeah, this is the program you need. As I say, you just go into a controller or whatever it is, and then. You can, as I say, you can, hold on, well, I'll do this one as an example. Uh, I don't really want to go in there and start changing stuff, but um, you will possibly have to manually set up the buttons, but it's, it's easy enough. So say you want to assign that, just click on it, and then click on the button you want to assign it to. And then it's the same with the triggers. So click on that, put down the, the foot, or that one, put down the foot. So it's pretty simple. You can, I think you can manually load, you can automatically set presets and stuff, but yeah. So I think it says uh, copy preset, yeah, so. So if I hit auto, right, then you can see it's, the buttons are all wrong now. And that's apparently on that one. So now, the, yeah, so you see what I see, the defaults aren't correct, so you will need to do them. See, because I copied it, it should just paste it back in. But I. Uh, game controller. So there's all my controllers. I don't know why it's saying I've got three. I don't know. I think it's because it's got these three set up. That might be considered them. Um, well, that's good. I've enabled that one. That may be my. So yeah, 
that's that's pretty much it. that's all you need to know about setting up the controller. So as I say, I'll put the description for the emulator, uh, the link. Uh, you can check it out yourself if you've got like a Windows machine. I don't know as I say is um, if, if it's Mac or uh, the Chromebook. They might be the same as Windows. I don't know, but you, you can check out the website for yourself. And uh, if it works, then it works. So yeah, that's um, that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoy. You've enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. And I will catch you all next time. Take care. Goodbye for now.